but nowhere near as cold as it feel this morning across the pond in parts of the United States and Canada. I've got to show you this, because imagine stepping out the door to these sort of values this morning, a wind chill making it feel close to minus 40 across parts of North Dakota and into central parts of Canada. I don't think either of you would like that. And it gets even colder there next week as well. Horrible. That's horrible. I'd quite like to know what minus 40 feels like, though. I would I be would, kind of curious. I mean, we, can the time, yeah. mm. we can send you there. We can send you there. It's not a problem. Yeah. There's a good cryotherapy ch uh, chamber that you can go into. Minus 119. <laughs> really? Yeah. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> uh, I'll think about that one. Now, if you're with me half an hour ago, you'll remember I was mentioning just the wind chill across the northeast of the United States and across Canada, down to around minus 40. To contrast that, yesterday in Australia, we saw record-breaking heat in Adelaide. 46.6 degrees in Adelaide, highest temperature they've ever recorded. And for Australian capitals, it's now the warmest one on record as well. I don't know which you prefer, Naga and Charlie, the heat or that icy wind chill? I don't like either, and I think I feel really sorry for the people who are there. Complete extremes at the moment. Yeah. Complete extremes. Horrible.